and welcome to unreal engine 5 the early assets all right dear guys that's how the interface of the early asset ue5 looks like so let's enlarge it okay here we have some templates for whatever game you want to develop and this is just for blank project okay and here we have for theme and video and so on architecture and uh, we have uh, automotive industry and so on however for the purpose of this video tutorial i am going to start off by clicking on games and let's select blank project but if you have some experience or idea on using unreal engine here are some very useful template for you guys but for today's tutorial i'm just going to click on blank select the blank and let's give our project a name so i'm just going to call it unreal minigame yeah minigame there we go and i am going to click on create let's move it up so that you guys can see it make sure you already have your own uh, project area that is where i intend to save my project is right inside the folder that i already have if you don't have a project area all you need to do is click on this browser and just browse to wherever you intend to save your work but like i already have a place where i'm saving my work okay if you don't have one of those all you just need to do is just create one that's no big deal click on file and just create a project area where you intend to save your work let's say this is unreal tutorial tool two something like that if that's where you intend to save your work that's fine just make sure it's selected and that is it right there but i'm going to go back to my main project area that i have in here that is on reload tutorial i'm going to go back in there that is it there we go now that my project has a name on real mini game so i'm going to click on create but just before that you see here your project default it's either if you want to use c plus plus or blueprint okay i'm very much interested in using blueprint and we will get to that as time goes on now one very important thing that you guys uh, like you guys to be aware of is you see here where we have the target platform is going to be for the desktop okay so depend on what you guys want either for mobile or desktop so i'm just going to say desktop for now now the next one is the quality that's okay i'm going to go for maximum and here you see where we have starter content i do need the starter content so i'm going to make sure that is checked okay make sure it is checked and the next which is the ray tracing if you look in here it says choose if real time ray tracing should be supported in the new project okay, since it's not going to be supported in the new project i'm just going to uncheck that and let's click on create now it's coming up all right guys this is how the interface looks for now but before i go any further let me show you the location of my file of and right here this was the dummy that i created earlier i'm just going to get rid of that delete that and in here this is where i have my project double click on that and right over there that is unreal engine mini game okay the one we're working on right now I'm going to minimize that but this one thing i want you guys to notice look at the size is 640 if you double click on it because i've selected content and so on this is it this inside here we have a lot of resources that we can use you see the starter content we're going to go into that we're going to be using material time goes on anyway so i'm going to minimize that now you see here where we have project file is out of date would you like to update it now or update i'm going to click on update 
so before we start and just for your information for those of you who are new beginners there's something i'd like to show to you remember the way i saved my full my project right inside on real tutorial and right here i have the i have my own project in there so if you double click on it this is what i want to point out look at it you can always open your project directly from wherever you saved it so just double click on it once you double click on it and it will open up the very project that you've just created okay that is it opened however if you guys notice i do have a, a notification here on the side that said managing plugin i'm just going to click on dismiss and that is it okay guys navigating around your system all you need to do is hold on to the right key on your mouse let's say you want to go up you want to move up press q q will take you right up and to come back down just press e while you are still holding on to the to the mouse right hand mouse there that is e brought it back letter a will take it to the right you see hold on to letter a that takes it to the right hold on to letter d while you are while your finger is still on the right hand mouse letter d bring it back okay. letter w okay drive it towards you while letter s will move away from you that is it okay so the letters that i've used with my hands the press on my mouse the letters include r q w e a s and d okay the other thing is while you're holding on to the mouse right and mouse you can just pan around look at that i'm not i'm not i'm not pressing any letter right now now the shift key the shift key make sure you hold on to your right mouse and hold on to the shift key you can then use that just to pan around just like that look at that okay that will actually take you right around with the alt key hold on to the mouse the right one as well hold on to the alt the alt key and you can just use that to move forward or backwards okay that's another shortcut that you guys should know right and up here we have some tools this is the active selection edit mode that is the mode we are on right now then one right beside it that is the landscape mode we'll be using the landscape mode as time goes on Okay, that is the landscape mode and here we have the foliage for the foliage we actually use that to add plants and so on in conjunction with using the some other components which I will show to you guys as time goes on and right underneath you see the arrow key the select all object okay select an object and beside it is select and translate object you can use a W for that this you can use a Q W and here okay to rotate you can use E and beside it is the scaling one and here we have the world and local okay we will come to these ones later on so let's select this very one i'm just going to select q that is it selected okay you can use that to select a mesh and the system or act or anything okay and w you see that's w you can use that to move the object around the choice is yours how you want to move it okay that is it there bring it back then we have 
the rotation tool here click on the rotation tool or you can press letter E and you can just roll around do whatever you like okay undo that to undo just press ctrl Z to undo whatever you've just done okay now this one is just to increase the size as for scaling I can use that to scale the chair how I want look at that okay there and after that there's something I want to show to you guys here for every single component as soon as you select it you have a tab here known as details that tells you everything about your selection the one I've just showed to you is the transform here we have location rotation and scale the rotation right now this you can see it here okay it's minus say 27 and look at the scaling the official scaling is 1.0 1 1.0 and so on but this one because I've scaled it look at it is 4.5 so I'm gonna change it back to 1 1 for the x axis one for the y axis and z axis i'm going to change that to one as well and guess what it's back the way it was okay that is the purpose of the details there's a lot more to details you can look at that there's a lot more but we will be getting through them individually as time goes on now you see one other thing that we can do with the details is if I right click on it I can always move it to the side there and that brings us to world outliner the world outliner comprises of every single component that we have in here that's for the floor there are two floors here and that is for the statue there and the table okay you can always collapse it collapse each individual static mesh and here that is for the volume the other thing we have is the lighting there they are they've actually put all of these in a folder for us which you can also create your own folder if you have some other objects you can just right click to create your own folder so that is it there so just click on that and you create a folder for yourself all right now that you guys get an idea of all of these and these you see the outliner you can also right click on it and move it to the side there we go if you want to move it back right click and select restore tab repeat that for the details as well supposing all of these components are not there if they're not there at all okay but before then let's close all of these let's assume they are on they're not there to get them restored all you need to do is you don't have to panic go to windows and select load layer the default layer that's the one you want click on that and there we go that is the default layer now the default layer as you guys have seen we we have our word outliner and the details layer we can always i'm going to dismiss that we can always go back into windows and let's select world setting there that is world setting there okay as time goes on you guys will see how the world setting and so on works okay and the other thing that we have in here is known as content draw okay i'm going to show you guys the content draw let's move this up right there that is the content draw all you need to do to get to that content draw is to hold on to your control and space hold on to the control space and now we open up the content draw or you can always just click on the content draw itself okay inside the content drawer we have all of the components that we need okay, inside here you see we have starter components 
right and let's see inside the starter component we have materials take a good look at the materials that we have in there there we go and what do we use this material for supposing now um, to make this table look funny let it look rocky like rocky table just drag it and drop that on top of it and that's it look at it looks pretty okay go back in there then one other thing you can do is we can come straight to settings here click on settings just however you want your tiles or if you want it listed that is it listed all of your or if you want it on columns that is it in columns if you want it back the way it was in tiles there now one other thing that I'm going to show to you guys is let's have a look at the props okay those are the props in there we have the chairs and so on those things were from the props I'm going to click on it again we can drag one or two more chairs if you want or we can just copy and paste it look at it that's the one I've just dragged now just going to paste it right there okay let's move it away from the table a little bit think it's going to drop off let's bring it forward there we go and I'm just going to spin it around that is the rotation tool click on that and just rotate it around okay just rotate it there now the other thing is let's go back there the, the probes we can even add let's look for lamp look at it there's a lamp in there I'm going to grab the lamp just paste the lamp somewhere yeah that's the lamp let's bring the lamp in as you can see the lamp is kind of like upside down okay so that very lamp I'm going to have to rotate it we can use the rotation tool to get that sorted or we can even go into the details of this lamp okay which we can change it or use the rotation tool let's rotate it that's fine and that very lamp you can just bring it down right down bring it down or you can press end to take it right down once you press end I mean E and E that will actually take it down for you okay that is the lamp right there and guess what you can copy the lamp you can copy any of this component we have in here if you hold on to your make sure it's selected okay and you hold on to the alt key just click and drag I've just copied that very lamp there okay I can let me select both lamp now I want to copy both without doing any other thing than selecting control W I've copied it already so just come in here just drag both using control w okay guys they're looking good let's go back in here the content drawer okay inside the content drawer we have a lot of other mesh there that we can use but we will we have to come back to all of these as time goes on okay most of the stuff you need they are all here agreed as time goes on we also have to import asset from other from other area okay so for now I'm gonna call you the end of this tutorial and I'll see you guys shortly